In this video, we'll take a look at the OpenType panel and see how you can use it, in combination with OpenType fonts, to automatically type special characters, or glyphs, in your text. Here I have two columns of words. One is in Minion Regular, and the other is in Minion Pro. And you'll notice with the Regular that it doesn't have the ligatures. And ligatures are combinations of letters such as FI and FT and FH that are special glyphs that replace those two individual letters. For example, the F and the I kind of crash into one another. The top part of the F hits the dot on the I. So to deal with that, the pro versions of fonts often have these ligatures. The word office has two Fs and an I, and there's a glyph for that. 50 has an F and a T, and there's also a ligature for that combination. There's even a ligature for FH. You can see how those crash into one another, and there's the ligature over here in Minion Pro. And as we saw, you can go to the Glyphs panel and choose to show only the ligatures, and that gives you the choice of all the ligatures in a particular font. And I can just double-click to insert that. But of course, I don't want to do that every time I'm typing a word that might have a ligature in it. So in that case, I can use what's called Automatic Glyph Replacement in the OpenType panel. I'm going to open my OpenType panel, and you can also get to that under the Window menu in the Type section. You'll see in the panel that there are several buttons, and the first one is Standard Ligatures, and that's pressed down, so that means that Automatic Glyph Replacement, when it comes to ligatures, is turned on. So if I just take my Type tool and start typing, it automatically creates a ligature for the letters F and I. In the word Thistle, the S and the T have a special kind of ligature called a Discretionary Ligature, and that's turned on via the OpenType panel as well. I'll go back to the Glyphs panel, and you can see the discretionary ligatures, which are ones that you might not use as often, but if you want a special kind of look in your typography, you would turn these on. So again, I'll take my Type tool, and with discretionary ligatures turned on, I'll just start typing a word, and I automatically get that ST ligature whenever I type that combination. Open Type fonts also have something called Contextual Alternates. And these are different glyphs that, based on where they are in a word, may change. So for example, in the word 50, I'll turn off the contextual alternates and then turn them back on, and you can see that the F at the beginning of the word has a longer crossbar. So because the F is at the beginning of the word and not in the middle, the contextual alternate is chosen. In the word office, which is set in Bickham Script Pro, you can see that the contextual alternates are very different from the normal characters. In the word beef, which is set in Kflish Script Pro, you can see that when I turn the contextual alternates back on, that the letter B now has the connector to the E, and then the first E has a connector to the one that follows it. Automatic glyph replacement can also be used for ordinals and fractions. Ordinals are things like this, first, second, third, and so on, where you have a numeral and then two letters in smaller superscript. Fractions can be enabled so that when you have a numeral, then a slash, then another numeral, it will get turned into a fraction automatically. So this is another good reason to use an open type font from a reputable type foundry. You get all of the benefits of automatic glyph replacement in the open type panel. However, just because a font is an open type font, it doesn't mean that it'll necessarily have every single one of these glyphs but you can always open the Glyphs panel to see which glyphs are available to you. And if you need to make a replacement, you can do so easily with the Find Font dialog, which is what we'll look at in the next video.